Ladies and gentlemen, Adobe has so many products you wouldn't know where to start. Well, today we're going to have a look at two design profiles. We're going to have a look at Adobe Illustrator and we're going to have a look at Adobe InDesign. Now, each one of them have individual features and they're also built for individual use cases. Today we're going to determine which one you should be using and what features outstand the other. So let's check it out. There's probably a number of reasons why you clicked on this particular video. You're looking at Adobe Illustrator and you're looking at Adobe InDesign. Now, of course, they each offer unique features. However, they are similar in many ways. Today, we're going to go through each one of them and find out which one you should be using for your particular use case. After all, you're an individual and you have individual needs. So let's check this out. Adobe Illustrator is best for vector graphics. So if you're doing logo design, if you're doing icons, Illustrator is probably a better option for you. Another advantage of Illustrator is that it's highly scalable. So you can do anything from a business card to a billboard and you'll have the same amount of quality in your design. Illustrator also has a bunch of illustration tools such as brushes, shapes, objects, and all of these things can help you design whatever you want, really. You also get advanced text manipulation. So if you're not just looking to throw some text onto your design, Illustrator, again, would probably be a better choice. Now, InDesign is more for multi-page projects. If you're looking at infographics, if you're looking at more text and image layouts, if you're looking to create documents and that sort of thing with not as many controls, InDesign is probably a better option. Another great advantage is that InDesign works well while integrating with other Adobe products. So for example, if you're using Photoshop and you do most of the work in Photoshop, you can still import your Photoshop project into InDesign and you can finalize them there. In short, InDesign is probably easier to learn. It probably has a less of a learning curve, while Illustrator is a little bit more complex because it has more tools and it has more features. In conclusion, the three things that need to be considered when making a choice between InDesign and Illustrator is what is your focus being the first one. The second one is what is your experience with design tools? And the third one is what do you envision your projects to be like? If they are very detailed, then maybe Illustrator is a better option. But if you're looking at more multi-page products or documents, you may want to jump in with InDesign. If this was a helpful guide, please leave a comment below to let us know. And we'll see you in another amazing video. Peace.